Welcome Libra and happy November. Now my other channel, Brothers of the Sword Productions, has another video out and it actually is about the Sword Brothers and their history. And I do a complete translation of their seal that has never been done before. And I connect it to Oak Island and the Knights Templar. Now it's a long video, but if you follow along with the details, there's a lot of astounding messages. And if you're interested, the link is down below in the description box. Now you have transformation going on here. Lots of it, changing form, changing perspective. The rune that you received is Wunjo. This is about joy, the joy of love, the joy of simple pleasures in life. This joy does take work to find a balance with joy and happiness. It just doesn't always just fall in your lap. Joy is a luxury, and luxury isn't a material thing, it's a feeling. It's excitement of good news, bringing in good fortune, this card can do that. This does balance opposing forces into harmony like yin and yang. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't have balance in life. We wouldn't appreciate things in life either. Humans are always struggling to find a balance with understanding and cooperation. There's a clarity to this card, a revelation that comes in, a realization that life needs understanding in order for all of us to get along. Now the Minciati card that you received, the deck that I put together, you received water. So this is indicating emotions. You know, the fluidity of our emotions and how they can change the moods of our emotions. And this is going right along with the overall energy cards because you see the moon. And the moon is about moods and emotions. And right next to it is the death card, the card of changing form, transformation, card that's beckoning for closures of things. Now the moon can indicate that there's some type of deceptions going on in your life. Things are a little distorted. Maybe things aren't the way that you think they really are or the way they should be. A runaway imagination can be actually part of this as well. But the moon can also bring in intrigue and mystery. It's a card that reminds you that our reality is ruled by our beliefs, which is kind of scary at times. And this is about changing our perspective and our thoughts too. Taking it out of distortion and putting it into reality. And I think somewhere along the line while you're thinking about all of this, you went into a transformation. It was time to change. Time to find some truths. And right underneath the moon card is the Hierophant. And his presence is always indicating somebody seeking truth, seeking the unknown. Sometimes it's really scary to have the unknown in front of you. The funny thing is everything behind the Hierophant is the unknown. What's in front of him is the known. But for some reason, I'm wanting to say that the unknown is in front of you now. However, the moon does heighten your instincts. And that can actually be a driving force for you now, for this transformation that the death card is bringing in. It's kind of funny, but the moon does not have its own light source. It's all dependent on reflective light of the sun to bring this illumination to you. So a lot of times the messages from the moon is very subtle. And when it happens, it's more like it's bringing in more psychic ability for you to open up your mind. Because this death card can bring in all kinds of new paths and open up all kinds of new doors psychically. But with you, it's really important to find balance with these emotions and this joy and happiness and the opposing forces involved in it. And the cards on the left, this balance is being found with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords together. The Ace of Swords is saying you're starting something new and you're looking for some truths. It's right next to the Hierophant card. But it's saying it was kind of a rough road to get there. Yeah, maybe there was some deception with the moon. But here it's giving you a new beginning. You're having a new mature outlook on things. The Six of Pentacles is saying, yeah, you want balance. And of course, any Libra wants balance to find comfort. The Six of Pentacles is a give and take card. 
But you can't take too much and not give back. Or you can't give too much and not be reciprocated. This is a card about doing without desire. Don't expect a payback. Six is the number of endurance, but it's the number of harmony, and it's the number of love as well. Now next door you have the Hierophant and the Three of Cups, and this is a category of what is or can be yours. The truth can be yours. The Hierophant is a number five, and the number five can be of challenges and difficulty, but it can also indicate shifting energies. Something's changing, and I think that's what it's indicating here. But it's changing for the good because you have the Three of Cups card there, the card of celebration. The card of shared accomplishments. The card of personal ascension. Finding self. Self-realization. This has to do with getting along with other people in this reading. You can see that. Because the cards next door for your self-awareness or your awareness of all kinds. You receive the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You've got a nice balance of these cups. Pentacles. And only having one sword, but the sword is about ace, about changes and new beginnings. The King of Pentacles is about presiding on earthly things, bringing money in, maybe promotion. Maybe some new things are going to be coming into your life. Maybe you'll get an inheritance or a windfall of some sort. But it really is saying that you're reigning over the earthly realm and you've got a handle on it. And here with the Ten of Cups, a glimpse of heaven over the Rainbow of Cups, it's saying there's happiness. Wunjo is saying there's happiness. It's saying there's going to be people that are getting along with relationships, family and friends. And the future you're building here, you've got the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. It's saying you've looked over the horizon, you've looked at the options and opportunities that you have, and then you graduate to the Three of Wands of putting them into motion. Because it appears you've been able to organize your thoughts and have some clarity in it because you've got the chariot card. And this is victory over opposing forces. You have the moon there that's discussing opposing forces. Then you have the seven of wands. Once again, we're presented with our ideas of what our beliefs are with the moon card and the hierophant card too. The seven of wands can be where people are disagreeing or you're disagreeing even with yourself. And you have to work this out to find a level plane, to find that balance that you're seeking. But then here you have the lover's card. Yeah, there's something going on about relationships and changing your relationships with people. This is about making choices. I like to say deeds and desires and vice and virtues. You know, this is where you get the moral compass out and make sure that you know the difference between right and wrong and where you want to go and what will make you happy. Finding balance with your emotions as well. And the very last card is the world card. Yay! You graduated from something. You learned a lesson. A hard lesson that not everybody on this earth learns. And now it's time to accept some new challenges and move on. This is where the transformation is all about. Is that you have to make some closures with some things to find this balance of opposing forces to move forward with all of the new things and ideas that are coming in. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.